Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can create data groupings and reports to group selected fields by the unique values that they contain. You can then calculate the value of another field for each unique grouping created by the values within the grouped field. This is how you create summary totals by group within a report. For example, assume that you created a sales report that displayed detailed data of product sales by employee ID. You could create a data grouping on the employee ID field to create a group for each unique value found in the employee ID field. When you create a data grouping, you can also choose to create a group header and a group footer as additional sections within the report. Data fields placed into a group header or a group footer will display once for each unique group value that's found within that field. You could then add a calculated field for the group that would total the value of all the sales values found in the amount field for each unique grouping found within the employee ID field. And you could display the subtotal for each employee ID in the group footer. So as you can see, this can be an extremely useful feature. To create a grouping in your report, click the Group and Sort button that appears in the Grouping and Totals group on the Design tab of the Report Design Tools Contextual tab within the ribbon. Doing that will show the Group, Sort, and Total pane at the bottom of the Report Design view. In this section are two boxes, Add a Group and Add a Sort. To add a report grouping, click the Add a Group button and then select the name of the field by which you wish to group the data from the pop-up menu that appears. This will then add the primary grouping, of which you can have several, into the Group, Sort, and Total pane. To then view all of your available options that you have for the group, click the More arrow button to expand the group options shown. You will then click each drop-down from left to right and top to bottom to set the value for each until you've specified all of your settings. You can click the next drop-down arrow after the field name to select the sorting method used to sort the values within the grouped field. Moving to the right, you can then select the next drop-down arrow to select how you wish to create the groups within the selected field. Normally, you will group them by their entire value. This means that the values within the grouped field must match entirely in order to be included as part of the same group. However, you can also create groups based on field values that share the first few initial characters. So for text fields, you can select either the by first character or by first two characters options to create groups based on those criteria. For number fields, you can choose by fives, by tens, by one hundreds, or by one thousands to create groups based on those criteria. Now if you want to create groupings based on more than two initial characters or by increments greater than the one shown in the number fields, then you would choose the custom option and enter the number of initial characters for text fields or your own custom value interval for number fields to create group values within the group field based on your chosen interval. Now starting in Access 2007 and continuing on, you can also create totals for the groups as you are actually creating the groupings. So you can click the next drop-down arrow to choose what totals to display for the groupings that are created. Now if you do not want to calculate any field values for each grouping created, then leave the selection at the default value of with no totals. If you do want to add totals, then click the drop-down arrow and select the field to total from the total on drop-down within the drop-down menu that appears. Next, use the type drop-down to select the function to perform on the field selected in the total on drop-down. Below that, check any of the four checkboxes shown to enable or disable each setting. If you want a grand total for the selected field, then select the Show Grand Total checkbox. If you want to show each group's value as a percentage of the grand total, then check the Show Group Subtotal as Percent of Grand Total checkbox. To show the group total in the group header, 
check the Show Subtotal in Group Header checkbox. To show the group totals within the Group Footer, check the Show in Group Footer checkbox. Note that you can also set many totals on several fields if needed by selecting yet another field from the Total On dropdown and then repeating this process. Once you've set your totals, click the drop down arrow in the group again to set your totals within the report. To add a title to the group, click the Click to Add hyperlink that appears to open the Zoom dialog box where you can enter the title to apply to the group and then press the OK button. This adds the title as a label control into the header of the group. Next, you can click the Next drop-down to select With a Header Section or Without a Header Section. Now, if you added a group title, then you must have a group header section. You may only choose the Without a Header Section option if you do not have any controls of any kind in the group header shown in the Design View. Choosing this option with controls in the section will delete the section and all of the related controls. Likewise, you can set the next drop-down to with a footer section or without a group footer. Now once again, you may only remove the group footer as long as you do not have any controls in that section. If you added subtotals into the group footer, for example, then you will not remove the group footer as that would delete the calculated fields that Access adds to that section when you requested the field subtotals. Now the next drop-down allows you to choose how you want to display groupings. You can select the default of Do Not Keep the Group Together on one page to ignore grouping and where the page breaks occur when you run out of printable area on a page. You can select the Keep Whole Group Together on One Page option to try to print all of the records in each group on one page. You could also select the Keep Header and First Record together on one page to start printing the grouped data on a report page, but only if Access can fit both the group header and at least one detail record on the same page. Note that you can then create additional groupings if desired by clicking the Next Add a Group button that is below your current group and then repeating this entire process. Note, however, that the secondary groups should logically be secondary groupings within the larger primary group. If using multiple groups, note that you can also change the order in which the grouping is applied by selecting the group whose order you wish to change and then clicking the small Move Up and Move Down arrow buttons that appear at the right end of the grouping. To delete a group that you've created, you can click the X button that appears at the right end of the group listing. Note that if you have controls in the group header or group footer sections, these controls will be deleted along with the header or footer sections. Access will warn you if this is the case before allowing you to delete the group. Now also note, this is the same process used for sorting your report data. Now as you have just seen, when you are creating a group, you can choose how to sort the values within the group. However, for some detailed reports, you may not have any groupings. Now in either case, you can still apply sorting to the report by using any available field. You simply start the process of adding a sorting order by clicking the Add a Sort button in the Group Sort and Total pane. You can set any additional options for a sorted field that you can with a grouped field. However, you will most commonly only need to set the first two options shown when a sort is created. That will allow you to select the field by which to sort and the method used to sort the field's values. Now as with groups, you can reorder the sorting that is applied or you can delete the sorting applied by using the Move Up and Move Down and Delete buttons that are available at the right end of the sort. Now when you're finished creating groups and sorting, click the X in the upper right corner of the Group Sort and Total pane to close it.
Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.